is crazy. But here it is. A bit bigger, so I didn't. All right, this is my vlog of my first solo trip. Um, it is currently Saturday, October 17th, 2020, and we are seven months into work from home uh, from COVID. And here I am taking my first solo trip um, at 27, um, but I'm currently in Las Vegas. I flew in earlier tonight, um, and I'm just spending uh, a nice wholesome night as you do in Vegas. Uh, I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and then drive up to um, Grand Canyon, which should be like a four or five hour drive. Uh, spend a night there, uh, and then I'm gonna drive up to Arches National Park in Utah, which should be around six hours. Spend a couple nights there, and then drive down to Zion slash Bryce, where I'll be spending three nights and then I'll come back to Vegas for one night and then fly uh, back home. Um, anyways, I planned this trip just earlier this week on Monday and Tuesday. That's kind of when I booked everything. Um, and then I went out and bought some gear, like, the, um, like my backpack, my hiking boots, this GoPro that I'm using right now. Um, actually, Jasper lended me a bunch of stuff like batteries and SD cards, so thank you Jasper for that. But yeah, this is my trip. So we just got to Grand Canyon. Um, after like a five hour drive, um, can't check into the hotel yet, the lodge that I'm staying at right here, but I have a few hours to kill, so I'm just uh, at Mathers Point right now and I'm gonna go on, uh, I think, the South Khabib Trail later on, but check out this view. How crazy is that? There's people everywhere. So I just hiked a short distance um, to the Kaibab trailhead. Um, a lot of the, the routes are closed, uh, the, the shuttle routes are closed. So I had to park um, uh, a bit away. But now that I'm here, I'm about to start my hike. It's like a crazy view. And then I'll be going down, uh, first here to the left. Going under, over there, and then I think I'm going somewhere down there. Water, but we'll see how, how it goes. Second checkpoint, Cedar Ridge, and here is the view. Just 
just chilling here at Cedar Ridge, walk to like a different section. Um, and I'm just laying down. I'm right by the edge right here. Not sure if you can see it. But... There's a few other people that are just lying down and relaxing. That's where that's the general direction where I came from up there. It's so quiet up here. So I just spent uh, like an hour, fell asleep out on the ridge, and now I'm starting my hike back up. It's gonna be interesting. It's uh, pretty steep back up, so we'll see how I do. Okay, it's been like five minutes since the last post, but. Whew. I'm tired. <laughs> I still got like the whole way to go. I think the trail, the trailhead sign said if you take an hour to come down, it takes double the amount of time to come back up. So we'll see how long it takes me. Did it. I came all the way up in one go. What did it cost me? Everything. But I'm not sure why I did. I think I have a an eight pack now. <laughs> I need a steak, a beer, a massage. I need to lie down. Go me. Quick update. I'm just walking back to my car. Look who I see. Oh Alright, so I've checked in and this is the cabin that I'll be staying at tonight. It's at the Bright Angel Lodge. Listen, nice quaint. Here are some late afternoon, almost nighttime pictures that I got as I was leaving the park to go grab dinner. I then finished dinner and got back to Mathers Point when it was pitch black and was able to capture some nighttime photography with the help of a nice passerby who told me what settings to put on my phone so that I could actually capture the stars at night. All right, quick update, day number two, uh, I woke up at five. Um, got ready. I'm currently packing up my room and loading it into the car. Uh, but I'm gonna get some coffee and breakfast at the, the cafeteria nearby, I think. And then I'm gonna try to catch the sunrise at the Grand Canyon. Um, see if I can get like a time lapse of that. But as you can see, I have my <laughs> super cool headlamp. I needed it last night when I was um, trying to take some pictures of the Milky Way and stuff um, but yeah I'm heading to Moab today uh, I'll try to hit up Monument Valley and um, I'm not sure what else is kind of on the way there's, there's a bunch but I'm not sure if I have the time to like get out of the car and, and hike it and stuff but um, yeah that's my plan okay I made it to the weather's point I'll look it's like 6 right now, I think 625 this is the view so far.
9 a.m. I made a quick pit stop to get some food because I'm hungry and I got canes, raising canes, which is like fried chicken on like the west coast I think, but it's so good. Um, it's a little heavy for 9 a.m. but breakfast of champions. by Monument Valley right now. I'm in the middle of the road, but check out this view. There's a car coming, I gotta go. Right outside of Monument Valley, um, close to the border of Arizona and Utah. And look where I am. This is right where they shot Forrest Gump. And since there's no cars right now, I have to <laughs> run a few steps. <laughs> Finally reached Dead Horse Canyon or Dead Horse National Park. I forgot what it is. Um, it took me a lot longer than I thought it would to get here. I think I spent too much time just like stopping at um, stopping on the side of the road and taking pictures and stuff. But I'm here. Um, Dead Horse should have a really nice kind of overlooking point. Um, so I'm gonna find a few spots and maybe take some pictures. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice here. Uh, just walk into the point, and I'll give you a, a peek. Yeah, pretty difficult ride. Check this out. It's a wedding couple right there taking their photos. Pretty nice spot if you ask me. Alright, so that was, I think, uh, must have been west facing since the sun was setting over there. So I'm walking over to the east side. And um, it's a really nice view too. I hope my GoPro can capture the mountains in the distance that you can see. But just in general, like especially on the drive over here from Grand Canyon to Moab, there's so many landscapes that are just like stunning. And um, I don't think the cameras do it justice. And it just makes you appreciate how well you can see actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's a weird way to put it, but look how beautiful that is. So much better in person, to be honest. And then that's where I was looking before. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Finished at Dead Horse, and I sped on over to Canyonland National Park. Um, I saw that there was a nice um, outlook at the called the Meza Arch. So I'm hiking over there right now. Uh, it's going to be the first arch that I see on this trip. And uh, it should be overlooking the, the canyon underneath. So it should be pretty nice. I wonder if um, the sunset is going to make it nicer or if that'll even affect what I see at all. Uh, but I think I'm almost there. Alright, that half a mile hike only took like five minutes, but I'm here at the arch and this is what it looks like. 
Whenever you're ready, I'm ready to go back to the car. I feel like I've taken the same photo a thousand times. I know that feeling. Ooh, a movie. Look at that. Just spent like half an hour at the Mesa Arch. Got some nice pics. Sunset was beautiful. Um, the canyon was nice, and then like watching the sunset from behind us was also really nice. And this is what I see right now. I don't know how well the GoPro will pick it up, but I think you can see the moon right there on the top left. It's so nice. All right, day two is officially over. It's been a long day of driving and uh, a little bit of sightseeing, but it was really worth it. Um, Dead Horse and Canyonlands were actually a lot of a lot of fun and really cool sights. Uh, I just got to my uh, inn. The first time staying at an inn, actually, like motel slash inn kind of thing that you usually see in movies. But this is what it looks like. It's a road out there. This is my room right here. It's very it's very quaint, very quaint, and uh, you know how like hotels and stuff will serve you like breakfast and stuff. This is uh, their substitute since they're not serving breakfast anymore because of COVID. It's like a little goodie bag. <laughs> that was two, it's two apples, which I'm allergic to, so that's nice. Um, juice. Cocoa Pops. What is this? Oh! <laughs> Wait, can you read this? This is an omelette, a breakfast wrap, egg, cheese, potato, and cooked sausages. Cooked sausage crumbles, maybe turkey. Well, this is a first. I don't know if I should eat this before I go hiking, but... It'll be interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cute. Well... I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's 5.35 right now. Um, I just got ready. Woke up this morning at like 3 a.m. with a headache and I couldn't fall back to sleep until like 4. But I need to get to Delicate Arch tonight. Or not tonight, right now. Um, because I'm trying to catch sunrise um, while I'm at the Arch. Uh, I think Arches National Park is like a 30 minute drive from where I am. And then I still have to hike, I think it's like a 1.5 mile hike to the arch itself. So yeah, I think I'm going to bring like a little tarp, um, or I think it's called a monkey mat that Jasper lent to me. Um, so I can just kind of sit there and maybe stay warm. Um, maybe catch the sunrise with the time lapse and then um, maybe I'll do another hike before I come back to into the city to take like a nap or eat some lunch or whatever and then do some other hikes in the afternoon but um, let's see how it goes all right I got to delicate arch um, it's like a 30 minute drive and now I have to hike in the pitch black yeah you can't see anything but good thing I have my, um, my headlamp or at least I think I do uh, so I will see you guys later give you an, an idea of what I'm hiking through right now it's like pitch black and I have no idea where this trail goes just following the path but there were some people in front of me and I was hoping they would start first but they were taking a while and stretching so I had to start first and now I think they're following me but uh, <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna try to find my way to this delicate arch Wish me luck. All right, so I'm just about there. I found a buddy to get lost with me. But uh, <laughs> we, this last part is like super slanted. I don't know if you can see it, but definitely not kid friendly. Uh, but the view so far is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, sun's about to come up, so I'm gonna get posted up. Uh, there's a ton of other people around. Um, everyone's here, and here's the arch, right there, by the sunset. Oh my god, it's crazy. It's a little brighter out, and everyone's taking pictures behind me. 
can see, but I got a pretty good ankle right here. I'm framing it right, but it's so nice here. Um, I'm not gonna bother getting in line because I don't feel like waiting. I can take selfies anyways, but the sun is out. All right, finished up at Delicate Arch, and now I'm hiking back. I actually came up the wrong way on the way up. Um, this is where I'm supposed to come up. This is a lot easier than how I came up. Rookie mistake. But nice view. It is currently eight o'clock right now. Um, I'm gonna try to squeeze in another hike and then I'll maybe go back and grab some food or something. All right, I'm on my way down and I'm so stupid. I came up like the complete wrong way going to the delicate arch. It's supposed to go this way around the back and it's a lot flatter and a lot easier. Instead I went like up that ridge. No idea where I was going, but if you guys ever come here, uh, make sure you go left. Fiery Furnace is actually somewhere over there. It's a pretty famous hike, um, but I'm pretty sure it's closed. You need a, um, a hiking permit, and I don't think they're giving them out right now. Uh, yeah. I'm here at the Sand Dune and Broken Arch Trail, and it should be a pretty, pretty quick hike, very short. So I might just um, time lapse this and show that instead. short hike not even a hike it's like a walk um, but here is the arch right here see it it's really cool actually and this whole thing is sand if you can see um, there's really nothing up there just a uh, bunch of rocks but it's really cool looking actually cool It's currently 10.08 right now, and I think I'm done with my morning hikes and morning activities uh, for now. I saw the sunrise at Delicate Arch, uh, I went to the Sand Dune and the Broken Arch, and I made a quick stop at Devil's Playground, but the lot was closed. I think it's too full now, so I'll try my luck in the afternoon. Um, from what I know, this park only gets more and more packed as the day goes on, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm probably just going to head into town right now and get some breakfast, uh, check out the town a little, buy some souvenirs, and uh, pretty sure on the way at, in and out of this park, it's a really scenic drive, so I'm going to try to get some time lapses of that, and yeah, hopefully um, I can get into Devil's Playground and see some more arches. Until then. It's 1.30 now, uh, I think I'm done resting. Uh, I just laid on the lawn right at the hotel. Um, and now I'm going to head towards Fisher, Fisher Tower Trail, uh, which was recommended to me by AJ Getz, who I actually haven't spoken to since like high school or even um, middle school. Uh, so thank you AJ for, for that recommendation, I'll check that out. Um, and hopefully I can get back into Arches National Park after that. I still want to check out um, like the Double O Arch and the Turret Arch. 
Uh, but that's all dependent on if I can get in. If not, maybe I'll try like the Corona and forgot what, what the name was, like Corona Trail or whatever. Um, so yeah, that should be like a 30 minute drive to Fisher Towers and uh, should be a good one. I made it to Fisher Tower, Fisher Towers, which I think are right behind me in the distance, right up there. And um, I think I saw some people climb to the top of that one right there. Some rock climbers are just absolutely crazy, but uh, I think after I get through this trail, I'll have like a good angle from the other side. I'm really not sure where this takes me to, but it looks really nice. Thanks again, AJ. Alright, I finished coming back from Fish Towers, Fisher Towers. Um, that was a really good hike. Uh, really clean cut, I guess. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it was pretty easy to find the trail and it was very diverse. Uh, it was really cool with the, the whole ladder thing. But um, I spent a bit too long up there. I think the whole trip took me like two hours and 20 minutes. I was up there kind of fooling around. Um, it is five o'clock right now and I think sun sets at 6.30, so I'm not even sure I can get to Arches in time for sunset, because I think it's gonna be like 30 minutes back to, I guess the town center, and then like 40 minutes or something like that, just to get to Devil's Garden. And then I think I have to hike from there towards the arches so I'm probably gonna miss it and I don't know if it's worth going um, but we'll see my last day in Moab okay so like I suspected um, I can't get to double O arches they're too far away you gotta drive far and then you gotta hike to it. it's like four miles I think but honestly I'm not even sure I would have gotten a good angle of the sunset but I asked the person working at the gate where's the best place to catch the sunset she told me windows so that's where I am that's the sun setting and the window it's right up there, so I don't even know what a, how I'm going to capture that, but it'll be cool to check out at the very least. Six 
successfully got the sunset. Now it's time to head back home, relax, maybe do some laundry, and off to Zion tomorrow. One last view. That's turret arch right there. And this is the window arch. I don't know if that's too dark. Pretty successful day, I would say. Got back to my room and took such a long shower. I was so sweaty and stinky. Um, now it is 8.17. I gotta do a ton of laundry. Um, it's all over there in the stack. Uh, I gotta get that or else I won't have any clothes to hike in. And then I'm just gonna sleep because I need to go to Zion tomorrow. Um, I think it's gonna be a relaxing day. Uh, my legs are pretty dead today, but uh, I'm surprised at how my body's been keeping up, so that's good. But anyways, gotta keep resting and uh, staying alive. <laughs> It is the morning of day four, currently 6.24, and I am leaving Moab and heading down to Zion today. Uh, I saw a bunch of recommendations online to go to, or take Highway 12 um, into Zion. Uh, it's supposed to be a really scenic drive, so I'll probably stop by and take a bunch of pictures and videos. Um, other than that, uh, I think I'm only hitting maybe one hike today. Uh, it's supposed to be more of a rest day. My, my legs are pretty shot. Um, we're gonna hit Zion Canyon Overlook, which should have a really nice kind of overview of Zion. And from there, I might head into Springdale, which is the town right outside of Zion National Parks. Uh, check out the town a little bit, but that's not where my hotel is, because um, actually all of the hotels um, in Springdale are pretty expensive, like 270 a night. So I, I found what place outside, a few miles outside. And yeah, we'll see how the drive goes. Should be around like six hours or something like that. Currently on my way to Zion and I took Highway 12 and I saw that there was a scenic outlook that uh, looks at Boulder Mountain. So why don't you guys check this out. pit stop um, at a coffee place right in the middle of the highway. Um, it's at a really nice spot also. Um, I think I'm about like halfway through my drive or a little more than halfway through my drive to Zion. Check out this view. I made it to Zion and this park is absolutely gorgeous already as soon as you get in take a look so I'm headed right now to the Canyon Overlook which I believe is somewhere over there it's only a one mile hike and it should have a really nice view at the end so I'll uh, show you guys when I get up
this here right now, but my knees are shaking. <laughs> but look at this, this is crazy. Canyon right now, and I'm trying to get a good view of sunset, but I'm not sure I'm going the right way. I, uh, I've been regretting trying to get to the end of this trail right now, and uh, I'm pretty tired actually. But honestly, I might just post up right here and then shoot that. I want to see if there's anything else. Got another sunset at Caldup Canyons. And now I need to go back and get dinner and check into my motel. And also I need to research what I can do the next two days. So either I can, oh, first option is to go to Angel's Landing tomorrow, which is doubtful because the lady was telling me that I need a ticket to get onto the shuttle and that's probably sold out for tomorrow. Uh, second option is to go to Bryce Canyon and some other places near there. Um, and then third option is to uh, do Narrows if it's open or not. I don't even know if it's open, but... Um, from what I hear, it might be, so I got a lot to see tonight. Okay, morning of day five, and right now I'm headed to Kanab for the wire pass and something like Blood Gulch Trail or whatever, um, but I think there's slot canyons there, and it should be really pretty. Um, it'll have to do since I can't go to Antelope Canyon. Uh, it's closed. But um, after that, I'm gonna head to Bryce, and uh, do the Navajo Loop and the Queen's Trail. So I'm, I'm gonna see how long, or how long a Kanab is gonna take me. Uh, should be okay. And then tomorrow is when I'm doing Angel's Landing. Uh, I, I woke up today at 6.30, it's the latest I've slept actually. And I stayed in bed until nine, which was nice. And nine was when they opened up sales for the the shuttle so just a heads up if you're going you want to book that in advance I think they opened them maybe two weeks before uh, for the first window and the second window is the day before at 9 a.m. and you have to uh, well at least in COVID you have to book your hour slot uh, so I could only get like the 12 to 1 slot so I have to show up at any time from 12 to 1 and then I can go up to the hikes um, and that's where like the most of the stuff um, in Angel's Landing uh, in, in Zion Canyon is so you definitely want to get those um, shuttle tickets but uh, yeah I should uh, right now we're going to Kanab and we'll get there really soon okay I made it to the wire pass trailhead um, and I think I called it the blood gulch trailhead before but that's from Halo um, it's actually called the buckskin gulch trailhead um, so I think finishing or uh, the wire pass will lead into the Buckskin Gulch. Um, but yeah, the drive in, uh, there's like eight miles of just really bumpy, rocky road. So you're just like weaving back and forth, trying to find the, the least bumpy route possible. I'm finally here, and it should be a good hike.
right, so I'm at the end of the Wire Pass Trail, and now it's the junction of the Buckskin Gulch. So I have two options. I can go to the left, which apparently is only open areas, or I can go to the right, which should have more slot canyons. So I'm probably going to go right. Okay, you just saw me hike down uh, that zigzag right there, and yes, I did limbo that little uh, arch. And now I am at Wall Street, right here behind me. Um, you can see it's like just very narrow walls. Um, almost like the slot canyon we were just at. Uh, but I'm just gonna go through this and see what's on the other side. Just finished uh, the trail at Bryce Canyon. Um, I was originally going to just do uh, the Navajo Loop Trail um, and the Queen's uh, Garden, but uh, the, the actual whole loop was a lot bigger, so it ended up, ended up being like two and a half miles. I missed sunset, but um, I still had a lot of good views while I was in there, so it was fun. All right, morning of day six. And uh, today I am doing the Angels Landing hike. Uh, my Zion shuttle is, um, my slot is 12 to 1. So I have time to kill right now. I'm just getting breakfast at Mimi's Cafe, which is right near the entrance of Zion. Uh, you kind of see the canyon in the background. So yeah, I'm just going to get some breakfast and then uh, I'll head into Zion later today. got off the shuttle and now I am beginning my Angels Landing hike. Pretty pretty nervous about uh, the end part. Just I don't do well with heights but I think I'm just gonna have to power through it and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> So steep. I just went through all these switchbacks. I still got a little more to go. I think I made up for skipping like day all of COVID in this last week. Whew. All right, so I essentially made it. And straight up ahead, you'll see the last stretch, which I said was scary because it's only supported, or all, all you have to grip on is um, that chain. I feel like I'll do it. There's so many people though. That was the last stretch of uh, Angel's Landing. 
I hope you all appreciate me doing that with one hand. The one day I forget my chest strap and I have to do this. Holy crap. Look at this. Oh my god. Wait, no, I lied. This is not the top. I have to go all the way up there. Oh no. Oh man. landing that was pretty thrilling uh, pretty scary but not too bad now that I look back on it uh, it was well worth the trip up here I mean this view is absolutely crazy I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit before I head back down this was my main hike or only hike that I planned for the day um, it's two o'clock right now I might I don't know I might go down and uh, find another random hike to do uh, I'm doing the narrows tomorrow which is which is awesome. I still need to like run some boots and maybe like a hiking stick. But for now, I have done Angel's Landing. I asked one of the employees what well, wasn't easy, not too demanding, but uh, worth the trip. And she suggested Emerald Pools, which I did see in my research. But I'm just going to do it right now just to kill some time. Uh, it is 3.41 right now. Angel's Landing took me like 2 hours 45 minutes um, So this one should be short and sweet and then I'm gonna call it a day and then get ready for the Narrows tomorrow Pool, I think, or almost there. Uh, it's a nice little waterfall right here. Just, um, and you can see people hike all the way around. Let's we'll see where it leads to. Emerald Pools hike. Short and sweet. Uh, it was nice. And now I arrived at the Zion Lodge and they have like a big lawn area right here. It's a big tree in the middle. Some canyons in the background. Really nice place. I might just uh, take a nap right here because my feet are killing me. Okay, I just finished eating at a pub that was right outside of um, Zion. Um, I don't think I've ever eaten that much, actually. Uh, it, I had three beers, burger and fries and wings to myself, and I just scarfed it all down. Um, it's 6.14 now, I'm just gonna go home, call it a night, probably take a bath, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. And uh, tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the Narrows and I need to rent shoes, socks, and a stick to hike that. Um, I think it's gonna be like three to four hours hike and then I have to drive down to Vegas and that'll be it for my trip, honestly. Um, I went by pretty quickly, but it was pretty good. Okay, I was driving back home, uh, but I had to stop on the side of the highway because this sunset is real. Look at that. 
crazy. I'm gonna try to take a time lapse right now. Okay, final day. I uh, just parked at the visitor center at Zion. Um, it's actually been pretty easy for me to get my uh, parking spots these past two days. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to um, get some rental gear for the Naranos hike. So I need shoes, socks, and a hiking stick. Uh, and then I should be good. Uh, I have a lot of time to kill, so I'm gonna get a coffee and chill for a little bit, but uh, I'm to make the most of today. All right, I'm at the entrance to the Narrows. Uh, it's a short hike here, and now I have to walk upstream. I'm not sure how far I'll go, um, at least to Wall Street. Yeah, there's another Wall Street here. Uh, but this should probably be the best hike this trip. Uh, starting to feel some of the water in my shoes. A little chilly, but it's nice. Here we go. This is up to my groin right now. It is cold. Woo -hoo. <sighs> feels good, feels good. All right, I made it to where Alvin and DeAndro took their picture when they came here to the Narrows. The two of them were up there looking like a couple of tool bags, but I obviously looked a lot cooler. Anyways, um, I'm really glad I could control my GoPro from my phone. Uh, it allowed me to like climb up there and then take the picture uh, with my phone while I was up there. I've been hiking for around 45 minutes now, uh, almost two miles. Uh, I want to keep going in. I'll try to go further, at least to Wall Street, and then uh, we'll see what happens after. I've hiked like three and a half miles up river. Um, I went to the fork and I went right. Walked a few minutes down that way. And I think I'm ready to turn back now. Time to go home. But this is a really cool hike and uh, I highly recommend it for anyone. Really, really easy actually. And uh, very unique. Okay, I am officially done with Zion National Park. Uh, right now I have a two and a half hour drive back to Vegas and I'm thinking about getting Jack in the Box, um, the burger place. Because um, apparently my, that's my mom's favorite burger so I gotta see what that's all about. Uh, but yeah, my trip is uh, basically over and uh, had a lot of fun but right now just gotta do that two and a half hour drive. Last one.